Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Lord, Lord open, open our, our lips, lips and our, our mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise.
one. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. The word of the Lord. I would please just like to read my book. I would please just like to read my book was the rather anticlimactic end what I thought was going to be a heated exchange. I learned years ago that, and it has been reinforced time and time again, that I never experienced the totality of any person standing before me. It's always a, a snapshot at best of the person. One instant in a life that does not have the means of fully capturing the truth of a person. I say this because I wish to describe a recent conversation between two people and I want it understood that I have no negative judgment on any of the participants. Be kind, for everyone is fighting a battle you know nothing about would be a fine mantra while we're going about our lives, and I attempt to hold that to, in, in my own life. Here's the story. Doris received a recall notice about a safety issue of her car. We decided that with the proper precautions, I would bring it in for servicing. Face masks, gloves, the first appointment slot of the day, I was ready. And as is my habit, I took along a book, placed myself in a corner and I waited to be told that the repairs had been completed. Catching up with some discretionary reading was not to be. The TV's volume did not allow for me to filter out the, the, the noise, and my headphones were in my car, so listening to my music was simply out of the question. So I sat, and I waited. After some time, I noticed a person get up, walk over to another person, and the voice uh, volume that meant that this person wanted to be heard said, I'm not wearing a mask because I'm not an alarmist. The masked person who had been addressed while showing a look of surprise at being addressed did not hesitate in the response. I would please just like to read my book. It was now the initial speaker's time to look surprised, stunned. The person turned around and went and sat on the opposite side of the room. I'm thankful I was wearing a mask 
because I believe it covered my own stunned reaction. The anticipated response uh, had to do with quoting news outlets, some form of name calling, or any manner of, of rabbit holes, all of which would have dialed up the emotional level of the altercation. I have no idea why the first person was moved to walk over and address this masked person. The person did incarnate something of the confrontational world we live in. I was much more intrigued by the other person's response. It did not live up to today's standard of behavior a way of being that might be summarized as when push, push back, which is a symptom of it's really about me. As we listen to today's gospel text, it's not surprising that Jesus assures his followers that they will not be alone in their efforts to live the life to which he invites us. We're asked to embrace living as Jesus lived. A life that recognizes the absolute truth of the power of God's love and care for God's creation. The love we are asked to grasp is not some abstract philosophical concept or some ideal of a cotton candy clouded sky with lollipop lined streets world. No, the love we're asked to, to, to give to the world is a lived response in relationship and in activity. Jesus demonstrated love by feeding the hungry, touching the leper, healing the sick, Jesus' love was service and compassion for all persons. Please note, Jesus' words are not a conditional statement. If Jesus being the way and the truth and the life has anything to do with me, left to my own devices, keeping Jesus' commandments, I have a serious problem. No. Jesus is attempting to inspire trust. Jesus says to the disciples, Jesus says to us, you have never been expected to do this alone. You have always been stood beside. You have always had an advocate. Soon you will not be able to see me, so the Spirit will now take on the responsibility. Trust me, God says to us, we will do this together. To live out the gospel is, I believe, an act of stunning people, leaving them a bit flabbergasted shocking them with a deep and profound caring that looks nothing like the responses of the world. Jesus said, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Now go out and surprise somebody, surprise anybody with behaviors that are not of this world. the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. 
On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The prayers. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The Collect of the Day. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colic for Sundays. O oh God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. You give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A colic for the renewal of life. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, Drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A colic for peace. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A call it for grace. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us, preserve us with your mighty power.
that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. During the silences following each of the biddings, please offer your own prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. <clears throat> In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love, and be found without fault at the day of your coming, we pray to you, O Lord. For Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, for Susan, our own bishop, for all bishops and other ministers, and for all the holy people of God, we pray to you, O Lord. For all who Fear God, and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, and that all may be one, as you and the Father are one. We pray to you, O Lord. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness we may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. We pray to you, O Lord. For those who do not yet believe, and for those who have lost their faith, that they may receive the light of the gospel. We pray to you, O Lord. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, O Lord. For those in positions of public trust, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person. We pray to you, O Lord. For all who live and work in this community, we pray to you, O Lord. For a blessing upon all human labor, and for the right use of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty, famine, and disaster, we pray to you, O Lord. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer. For refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger. That they may be relieved and protected. We pray to you, O Lord. We pray especially for Reed for Chris, for Elizabeth, for Buckney, for Vanessa, for Greg, for Terry, and for 
for Terry. For the community of St. John's, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all that we do. We pray to you, O Lord. For our enemies and those who wish us harm, and for all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to you, O Lord. to our prayers, for our families, friends, and neighbors, that being free from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health. We pray to you, O Lord. We pray for those celebrating birthdays this week, for Martin, JT, Bonnie, Tim and Keith. And we give thanksgiving for the birth of a grandchild. For all who have died in the communion of your church and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. We pray to you, O Lord. We remember especially Stuart. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, John and all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another and all our life to Christ our God. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 
Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Sisters and brothers, Easter blessings. <laughs>